Hey, it's uh, Lou Just Lou again. Uh, we've upgraded the coil gun. Uh, it used to be a 50 volt coil gun and it used capacitors about this size. And now we've pretty much doubled the size of the capacitor and these are 100 volts. Everything else really is the same. It's the same triac down here to fire and trigger the mechanism. Got a couple of voltage gauge and amperage gauges on the other side where you can't see. But I did have to make a few changes. Um, We've got a lot more bracing in here now because the carriage was actually ripping itself apart. I've also added a block, a breech block here at the back to keep the coils from sliding backwards. That was a problem. And then I put this little pin in here to pin the actual tube itself into the frame because it was sliding as well a little bit. Um, we've also actually put nails in the table to keep the whole thing from sliding backwards. And for safety, we now have a plastic uh, cover over the side so that uh, little fingers can't get near it. So it's uh, roughly twice the voltage. For YouTube only, we don't do this in the public schools, I've actually created a special projectile. This is the normal neodymium magnet, rare earth magnet, but I've attached to it a roofing nail because it has a nice wide base there. And this roofing nail has been sharpened a little bit so it will actually go into the wood a little better. And we're going to fire that into this 2x4 right here. So go ahead and put that in there. And this is a, a muzzle loader, so I have to kind of push it back until it seats. And just by trial and error, I've discovered the right point to put it out in the coil. Same thing as before, same polarity pushes away. So I generate the same polarity as the back of the magnet and it shoots it out the front. It's not really a coil gun. I'll go ahead and turn on the power plants here. I've got two of them now. One 50 volts, one 90 volts and that allows me to charge it up. And we have upgraded to a uh, missile launch system. So the kids can actually take this and carry it about 15 feet away. There's quite a bit of cable. Turn the light on so I know it's armed and then fire it. So we always Leave it switched off. I'm going to go ahead and charge it up. It does take a little longer to charge now. So now we're charged to 100 volts. What? <laughs> that was a good one. So there it is, pops right out. Coil gun version three, thanks.